Superior CVI Course Request Tutorial for Grade 11 Students Entering Grade 12 in the 2013-2014 School Year. Course Requests Course Requests for next year are to be inputted online by 11.59 p.m. February 28, 2013. The website will be open from February 11th to February 28, 2013, and you can access it from home if you wish. The website is www.lakeheadschools.ca slash requests. Why is it important to input your course requests? A course for the 2013-2014 school year will run based on the number of students that select it. If a course does not receive enough requests, it may be subject to cancellation. For example, if you are interested in taking Mathematics for College Technology, MCT 4C1, next year, you should include it in your course requests. If only a few students request it, it will likely be cancelled and then you will be forced to choose another course to take in its place from what is available. Things to remember. Do your homework in planning your course requests. Consider all your options and your strengths and interests. Keep in mind post-secondary prerequisites and pathways. Talk with your teachers, parents, counselor, etc. if you have questions or are uncertain about something. Make sure you have the prerequisite course completed. If you have been unsuccessful in a compulsory course, make sure you include it in your course requests. Prepare your list of course requests before you go online. The website times out after a period of time and you may lose the information you already input it and have to start again. Use the chart at the bottom of the planner sheet to record your choices. Ontario Secondary School Diploma Requirements What do you need to graduate? You will require 18 compulsory credits as listed below. In addition, students must complete 12 optional credits, 40 hours of community involvement activities, as well as the provincial literacy requirement. Your credit counseling summary is found on the back of your course request helpful planner. You will see your name, OEN, recorded community hours, and literacy test status recorded at the top of the page. Then you will see your personalized list of completed compulsory and elective credits. Also, your current year courses and achievement are listed. And finally, you will see your credit totals. Remember, you need 18 compulsory and 12 elective credits to graduate. It is helpful to review how to read a course code. The first three letters identify the subject. For example, ENG is English, SBI, Biology, NAC, Native Studies, TTJ, transportation technology. Refer to your course calendar for a complete list. The number indicates the grade. Typically you will be choosing the number 4 for grade 12 courses. The letter identifies the course type. Grade 12 courses are either U, University, M, University or College, C, College, E, Workplace, O, Open. The sixth digit is assigned to distinguish course characteristics. For example, 1 is a 1 credit course, 2 is a 2 credit course, such as cooperative education.
How many and which courses am I requesting for grade 12? For next year you will choose one compulsory course and at least five elective courses. Remember that if you need to repeat a compulsory course you must include it in your requests. Grade 12 course requests. There is one compulsory request. You will choose Grade 12 English, ENG 4C1 College, or ENG 4U1 University, or ENG 4E1 Workplace. Also select five to seven elective courses from the course calendar. Double check that you have the prerequisite course required. Consider courses for groups one, two, and three. Consider prerequisites for post-secondary programs and destinations. Consider taking a cooperative education course. Students wishing to attend college or university must meet specific entrance requirements. University. At least six grade 12 U or M courses, including ENG 4U1. In many cases, students must meet a designated overall average, 70% for Lakehead University. More information can be found at www.electronicinfo.ca. Deadline to apply with equal consideration will be mid-January 2014. College. You must complete ENG 4C1. Tech programs will need specific senior mathematics courses. More information can be found at www.ontariocolleges.ca. Deadline to apply with equal consideration will be mid-February 2014. Ask your guidance counselor for more information. Keep in mind the OSSD graduation requirements. You require 30 credits in total, 18 compulsory credits and 12 optional credits. 40 community hours must be completed and recorded. you must successfully complete the literacy requirement. If you have been eligible to write the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test at least twice and have been unsuccessful at least once, you should include OLC 401 Literacy Course in your course requests. Online Course Selection Refer to the instructions in your course calendar. The online site is open February 11th to 11.59 p.m. February 28th, 2013. To set up your account, you will need the following information. Name, OEN or student number, a valid email address. Mathematics Pathways Prerequisite Chart. It can be found at the back of your course calendar for easy reference. If you have any questions about which mathematics course you require for your post-secondary pathway, please make an appointment with your guidance counselor. www.careercruising.com is an excellent resource to research your post-secondary pathway. To log into the website, you will need the school username, Superior, and school password, Careers. Use your course request planning sheet before you go online. Record your course requests in the chart at the bottom of your planning sheet. Remember to only use the ninth spot if you are taking Grade 10 Careers and Civics. Now you are ready to go online to enter your course requests for the 2013-2014 school year. Things to remember. Do your planning before you go online. 
Remember that courses run dependent on how many students select them. Book an appointment with your guidance counselor if you have any questions or concerns. Course selections must be entered online by 11.59 p.m. February 28, 2013. Superior CVI 